Good afternoon, everyone. It is Saturday, the December the 7th, 2019. I'd like to welcome you all to another video. The Toyota has a problem, I believe. It may need brake pads. But before we get into checking it, what I'd like to throw out there is this is a family-friendly channel. However, this video is not intended to be viewed by kids. I want to get that out in front because of the new um, COPA and FTC stuff on YouTube. So anyway, there's that. Now, uh... I believe the brake pad could be an issue. Of course, you see the fender. I do have a new fender and a new tailgate for the truck. It's in the barn. I have to wait a warmer weather to get it painted. Rust is coming through. But I'm going to get this thing up on jack stands, and I'll be right back. We're going to turn the wheel, rotate the tire and wheel, and let's see if it makes a noise. I believe the squeaker pad is rubbing. Be right back. All right, I've got it raised up with just a jack. Got the tire and wheel off the ground by a couple inches. Let's give it a spin here and see if we can hear anything. Well, not necessarily. Hmm. I guess the best thing to do is put a jack stand under it, pop that wheel off, and just do a visual. Be right back. Okay, as you can see, I've got the vehicle safely up on the jack stand. Still got the jack under it. Let's take the old Dewalt. See what we can come up with. Well, from the best I can tell, brake pads are pretty dadgum thin. They're not wore out, doesn't look like, but it's thin enough, apparently, it's squeaker pads when it's got pressure again it. So, no more trouble than they are, no more price. I'm going to run and get a set of brake pads and put on this thing. Um, then we're put on there new. It hasn't made any grooves or anything in that. That's just some wire lines, like some heat lines or something around it. But there's no grooves. It's smooth enough. So, I'm going to grab a set of brake pads and we'll be back with you here in just a little while. All right, I've already put the other side on. This is the driver's side here. Of course, I'm putting both sets um they're war plumb out too so on these toyotas i don't know how other people does it they're hard lined in right here which you could take these loose and get this loose take the caliper off but you don't have to if anyone's ever changed these or not they got these little slide out pins now i'm not sure if everybody does this other people have changed them but there's two bolts here you can see where i'm pointing right here and right here that hold the caliper on I don't take them out. Excuse my finger there. I'm getting in front of the camera here. Uh, I don't know if anybody else. I loosen them up. I don't take them plumb out. I loosen them up, which gives this a little bit of play when you get it loose. So let me break those loose, and I'll be right back with you. Like I say, just back those bolts out a few turns. You don't have to get them way out. Uh, when you get the uh, pads pried loose, it gives you the caliper a little bit of play. What I found, it makes it a whole lot easier. Now, here's the step that people's probably not going to agree with. But, get the camera back in focus. Gently, you don't want to damage your rotor. Gently pry, just a little. See how it gives that little play right there? Get that in there where you can work your screwdriver. Because you have to slowly might i add compress you're tearing those old brake pads up it don't matter they're going in the recycle if you'd have took the caliper plumb off you could have took a clamp and the old brake pads and uh compress that but you can do it like this like i said you got to do it slow and easy you don't want to hurt your rotor just slowly work your screwdriver over compressing those two pistons Pushing your fluid back. That way you can slide your new brake pad right down in there. There's that side. Now it gives you that play I was talking about earlier right there. I'm going to have to put the camera down. Hold on. Okay, now that you got pressure off this thing, it's loose, all this room between the brake pads, you're going to need to uh, take this right here off. Take this little thing right here out. And you got a, a new one with a new set of brake pads, so when you tear this one up, it don't really matter. Get it out. Yeah, I've got fluid. I 
compress that, but push some fluid out, no problem, it'll clean up. Okay, now you've got to work these two pins right here out, this pin and this pin, get it out of there. Watch how this little thing right here is put in there, it's kind of a aggravating. Hold on just a second. Clamp you some vice grips right there on that little pin, twist, just pull it out just like that. Not a bit of problem. Pull it all the way out or leave it stuck right there. Do the same thing with the top one. You may have to push it back just a little. But see, they made them where they could float. I guess you call it floating. These are some of the easiest brake pads. We're going to do an oil change in the next video. It's a little more, <laughs> believe it or not, oil change. It's hard to get to because we're the little Japanese guys put the filter. We'll talk about that later. And once you get to this point, all you got to do pull them straight out just like that if you'll notice they're turned two different ways this one is the inner this one is the outer yeah I scuffed it up that's all for my screwdriver and we didn't hurt this rotor any so everything's good there you take your new brakes slide right in just like that and just like that now this is a little bit tricky to do with a camera in hand pull it back up you've got to see these holes see it lines up right there push it over line it up right there it's got a hole in it if i can hold the camera still see that hole right there that's got to be in a position and you can get that here in a minute to where the little locking pin will hold. Hold on just a second. Now this piece ought to be real fun to do with one hand. It'll sit right in here like this. If, it'll, if I can get lucky and it'll stay there. Just rotate it down like that. Once again, you gotta pull this pad out, get that hole lined up right there. Get that set in behind it. It's a whole lot easier than it looks, but I'm using one hand where I'm trying to film with the other one. Slide it across. Make sure that's down in behind that. And right on through, you may have to wiggle this pad right here the same way. Push it just like that. It'll go in. Sorry to give you a nice shot of the mess I've made there, but I'll clean that up. No big deal. Okay, let's push this in. May have to clamp your vice grips on here. There you go. I need it just a little bit. Now these lock right in behind and in that hole right there. I'm going to have to put the camera down for this. Hold on. And the finished product on that. You see how those little ears got to go down that hole? It's not that hard to do, but when you're trying to hold a camera and film and talk, and it's kind of aggravating. Now, I don't have that pin pushed in far enough. Hang on. Hammer. Okay. Can you see the little hole in the end of that pin? Right? Focus. Focus. Come on little hole in the end of that pin right there. Where is my new? This goes a certain way. Got to get over here. Once you get it started in that hole, go up to the top. Where is it? Same thing. You got to get it in that hole. Okay. Now, once they're both in there, this right here has to latch back in that. May have to put the camera down. Be right back. And there's the, com well, it's not completed. Started to say completed. I still have to tighten those bolts back up because the caliper still has play. So, you'll notice how that pin went through that. The pin's held in by this piece right here. Right there. It's locked into place. This scoot these over. I never thought about doing that. Scoot them over to the out edge. Make sure everything's 
locked up. These are locked in here. Let me get this caliber tightened up and I'll be right back with you. Okay, folks, that is a short, simple way version video to put front brake pads on a 93 Toyota four wheel drive. All I got to do now, clean up a little bit of mess I made whenever I, that fluid was forced back out when I compressed those pistons, pushing the, uh, where I could get my new brake pads in. I should have took a little more time with that, but I'll clean it up. It don't hurt to be wiped off. Then I need to turn the front, uh, steering back straight, put the wheel back on, tire and wheel. Um, back it out, make sure the brakes work good. I mean, as far as the pedal, it's got a force because these still have play in them right here. You got to push those back in, which ain't a problem. Check the brake fluid level where I force some out. We'll be on the road again. Like ne next, I'm going to be. Um, I've got to replace a tie rod end. I have to check that, get it in. It's got a little bit of play, so we got to get that fixed. That's a safety issue. Then we're going to do an oil change video. So that's, I told you he was going to be doing some work on this truck and the Ford. But that's it for right now on this video. Get it all buttoned up and I believe I'm about ready to call it a day. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe. There'll be more on this truck, more on the other truck coming in the future. Uh, like I said, we are a family friendly channel. So comments, I'm open to comments. Please leave them at the bottom. Thank you. God bless.